Hello friends, good morning. This is Evangelist Kulomoji. Once again, I want us to go through scriptures and um, I want us to see some, one or two things from scriptures. But before then, can we just take a song? I was born to be His dwelling place A home for the presence of my Lord Oh, so let my life now be separated unto thee that I may be what I was born to be. Emmanuel, 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 your name is God. Your name is God, Emmanuel. It means God with us, God with us. Living in us, He is living in us. Your name is God, Your name is God, Emmanuel. Hallelujah. I want to show you something from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter number 12. And verse 22, I'll read from the New International Version. On the contrary, those parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. Wow, what an insight. The scripture says that every person in the body of Christ has both value and purpose. Now the question is, how do people who are constantly undervalued in the society find hope, direction, encouragement that they need to fulfill their God-given destinies. I think the answer comes from leadership. One of the reasons that God has put leaders in the church is to help people discover their place in life. I sometimes think of leaders as finding and polishing gems. Leaders are meant to help others become people God created them to be. They are called to discover the hidden, encourage the uncertain, develop the untrained, empower the powerless. They are gifted to mine gems. Hallelujah. Never forget that Jesus looked at an impulsive, uneducated fisherman named Simon and saw a diamond in the rock. Jesus even called Peter the rock. <laughs> Just as Jesus sees potentials in you, if you are a leader, he wants you to find and develop potentials in others. And that is why in Faith Giants Fellowship, FGF, we have created a leap of ground for destinies. If you look at your body, there are some parts of your body that you feel that they are really not significant, they are weak and things, but you need them. You need your tongue, it's just a small member, but if you don't have it, you can talk. Hallelujah. So the tongue has its purpose in the body. Amen. You need your eye, as small as it were, if it's not there, oh, everything goes black. Mm -hmm. so what am I saying in effect if you're a leader out there you should create opportunities for these undervalued people for these people that, that, that are insignificant in the society for them to be able to discover their purpose and potentials on earth 
That is why in FGF we have created means for all these things to be done. I shall come back to that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I was saying I'll come back to that because I'm, I wouldn't want to rush into the whole thing. I wanted us to understand the meaning of, of people that are undervalued. People that we feel there is nothing they can contribute. Maybe it is because of the circumstances around them that it looks as if they can contribute nothing to the society. But I want you to know that they can contribute something. Because when you begin to look for the people that nobody is looking for, <laughs> God himself will begin to look for you. Amen. Faith Giants Fellowship, yes, is an interdenominational fellowship. And um, it's a worldwide fellowship. All you need to do is to find out um, where it is around you and connect with what we are doing now, presently, in Faith Giants. We are creating avenues for people to discover their talents. We are creating avenues for us to build people's businesses. We are creating avenues whereby people will be able to achieve their divine destinies. Our empowerment has gone to the next level. We create avenues for people to be able to own their properties too. Why? Because we saw it in what we call the Acts of the Apostles, which for us means the actions of the Apostles. You see people that had bringing for people that didn't have to share. And what was the effect? It caused the Church of God to grow. It began to grow and it became a multitude. When people live in abject poverty, they cannot serve God effectively because they are living under bondage. If you have to stop bondage in the lives of people, then you have to take Christianity to the next level. We have decided that our own Christianity, we are taking it to the next level. That is why we have what we call the power of association. Power of association is whereby People connect with us to become achievers. It is not only in the word. There is a work aspect of the word. The Bible says, faith without works is dead. In fact, Paul said, show me your faith without your works, and I'll show you my faith by my works. We have entered into the work aspect. Well, yes, we have a vision of having prayer cells in every street all over the world. And that indeed is yielding. But we are also creating job avenues for people. Not to work for us, to work for themselves. But yes, there's a period of training. But they work for themselves. People think that the only way you, 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 you can achieve things is by me, myself, and I. No, Jesus was a selfless man. And that was what he taught Peter. He said, Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep. This is the area that Christians should get into the level of selflessness. Most of us as Christians will go all out there, even when we get aids from people and say, we're trying to assist the poor. <laughs> we keep it for ourselves. But that has to change. There has to be something that makes you a Christian. Something has to differentiate you from the crowd. You can check up what we do in our web pages, in our blog spots and everything. You can visit faithgiantsfellowship.tv. You can visit faithgiantsfellowship.blogspot.com. You can visit visionloved.com and see what the Lord is doing. Or, easy, you can Google my name, Evangelist Olomoje. When you Google my name, it directs you to the places you can get more information about what we do and how we do what we do. But, 
We are out to make the name of Jesus famous in the land. We are out to take the gospel global. And we are out to ensure that as you say Jesus is Lord, you do not say it and go back and begin to think of how you will eat the next meal. No. We are out to make you understand that Jesus is still in the business of meeting needs. Amen. I want to use this avenue to invite you for our fifth anniversary that is coming up on the 1st of December 2013. The venue is at Hadaza Place and the time is 12 noon. Hadaza Place is in Ogudu, Emmanuel High Street, Lagos, Nigeria. The hour has come for us to take the gospel of Jesus Christ global via our works and not just our feet. Friends, you are blessed and you are highly favored. You can also connect with me via my mobile number plus 234-7025. 7-2 You are blessed and you are highly evil.